What's up investors? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Richard Allen. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. In this video, we're going to talk about BFT and PaySafe. That's right. We have a brand new partnership that I want to talk to you about with PaySafe and Coinbase. Okay, so PaySafe has been in the crypto game for a while, but not here in the US. So we're going to talk about a brand new partnership that they just inked with Coinbase. And then we're going to cover a little bit about uh, uh, the street article, the street.com, nine best SPACs to buy right now. And that's right, BFT is part of them. And then another SPAC that I want to talk about in a future video, we're going to cover a little bit. So stick around until the end. I think you're going to like what I have for you. Okay, let's just jump right into this PaySafe article. It says PaySafe Skrill expands crypto offering to US with Coinbase. It says American expansion allows digital wallet customers in majority of states to buy and sell cryptocurrencies through Coinbase powered solution. PaySafe, a leading specialized pl payments platform today announced that its Skrill digital wallet has expanded its cryptocurrency offering to the US in partnership with Coinbase the digital currency platform provider. The DLC's Coinbase provided a new cryptocurrency, a white label solution to Skrill, continuing the digital wallet US expansion by enabling customers across 37 states and territories to easily buy and sell multiple cryptocurrencies. As a lot of you know, I'm in Minnesota and I'm not sure if I'm on this list. I'm sad. But I will be okay. Skrill's crypto offering, which was first launched in 2018 and is already available in over 30 countries, can now be used by consumers in a bunch of states, including Puerto Rico um, and, like they said, over 37 states. An existing Skrill liquidity exchange partner in Europe. Skrill customers in these states can use the digital wallet to instantly buy and sell cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Aside from the US dollar, Skrill users also have the option of using Bitcoin to buy other cryptocurrencies, enabling quicker and more convenient transactions by allowing customers to avoid having to convert their interest back into fiat currencies. This will result in fewer overall transactions and therefore lower related fees. That's a good thing for consumers that want to buy, you know, maybe they don't have enough cash to buy Litecoin or Ethereum or whatever, but they have some Bitcoin and they want to transfer it over. They can do that without selling their Bitcoin to fiat currency and then buying the other crypto that they want to buy. So this is a good thing for consumers. The next paragraph here, this, the first phase of Skrill's US crypto expansion with other states expected to be added imminently further strengthens the digital wallet's capability for American consumers. 2020 Skrill milestones in the U.S. included unveiling the Skrill Visa prepaid card and launching both its Skrill Money Transfer Remittance Solution and Skrill Connect Loyalty and Rewards Program. Mr. Lorenzo Pellegrino, CEO of Skrill Net Teller and Income Access at PaySafe, says U.S. consumer interest in cryptocurrencies here's how he would sound okay a u.s a consumer interest in the cryptocurrencies and the cryptocurrency trading and stronger than ever so we're delighted to better serve our customers needs by launching our crypto skrill crypto offering in the country in a partnership with the coinbase Pro powered by coinbase is a sophisticated platform our our crypto offering is uh, just a skrill's latest u.s move to provide consumers with the best in the class of digital wallet he probably does this too if if, if any of you are watching uh, uh, from uh wherever lorenzo is from probably italy i'd like to say i'm sorry but i had a lot of fun doing that accent um, Brett Tej Paul, head of institutional trading at Coinbase, commented, as we focus on, I'm just kidding, as we focus on building the crypto economy, we look to partner with leaders like Skrill, who can white label our turnkey solution to provide and support digital assets to our clients without having to learn the nuances of building a crypto exchange. Guys, there's been a bunch of uh, pay safe uh, bits of news that have come out recently um, that I haven't talked about because I've been too busy um, learning how to speak like Lorenzo Pellegrino. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's been bloody in the market. 
But the reason I say that is because do you think it's a bad time to buy BFT right now and pay safe? No, it's under $15 per share right now. It's $14.91 per share. It dropped two cents after hours. It's bloody, bloody in the market right now. Some things are doing well. Yesterday, uh, the, the everybody was like, oh no, the sky is falling. And it was, it seemed terrible for a lot of the growth stocks that we loved. And BFT, guys, is no exceptions, but it's nowhere near this like $10 average that a lot of SPACs are going to right now. So you gotta pay attention to a company like Paysafe. Now listen, people, people, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. Paysafe is a real company with real revenue, with real partnerships, and it's trading under $15 per share. It just jumped up over $15 per share after hours here, $15.02 while we're talking. So you have to ask yourself, do you think Paysafe is a good company? Or do you think it's a 20 year old company that just hasn't found a foothold in this space? Well, if you think that you're wrong, <laughs> you just are, but plain and simple, plain and simple. They process a ton, a ton of transactions per year, just as much as, as, as Square, but they're not as efficient. They don't make as much money as Square. And I think it's an exciting opportunity to get in on a company that, like right now, okay, at $15 per share, the valuation for Paysafe is what? Let's do the math, okay? So at $10 per share, the valuation for Paysafe is $9 billion, okay? So we have to add $4.5 billion to that because we take $9 billion, right? Add another $5 on top of that $10 SPAC price. And you have $13.5 billion right now as a valuation for Paysafe. What's what's um, what's Square worth right now, okay? Square has a market cap of almost $100 billion. Now, that's a huge disparity between the two. Now, does Square have five times the revenue of Paysafe? No, they don't. They probably have one and a half to two times the revenue of Paysafe, but not five times, six times the revenue of Paysafe, yet it's almost a hundred billion dollar company. So there is there is this disparity between, and, and this is a massive SPAC, nine billion dollars is huge for evaluation for a SPAC, but there's a disparity between the revenue and the potential profit um, that a company like Paysafe can make and what the company is worth right now. I, I really, really think this is one of the best SPAC opportunities right now. We're gonna pull up the article here from The Street. This is number one on their definitive agreement list, okay? It, here's why, okay? Paysafe not only does what Square does and what some of what PayPal does and some of these other fintech companies, but they're massive in e-gaming, okay? There's a massive IPO that just happened, Roblox, okay? People were going crazy for Roblox. It, it, it went crazy, okay? E-gaming, proprietary digital currency solutions empowering online, mobile, and in-app e-commerce for gamers and cash consumers in over 50 markets. Customers include Fortnite. I actually just played Fortnite today with one of my Discord members and his seven-year-old son. It was pretty freaking freaking fun. Fortnite, Roblox, Twitch, Spotify, YouTube, DraftKings, and multiple state lottery agencies. E-gaming is a massive, massive business right now, and Paysafe is the leader in e-gaming. Digital Wallet, a network of digital wallet solutions enabling users to upload, store, withdraw, and pay funds from a virtual account in over 120 markets. Customers include DraftKings, Bet365, whoever William Hill is, and Betfair. <laughs> Integrated processing, point of sale systems, just like Square has. You guys have probably seen those if you've been out and about. Maybe you haven't in a long time. A lot of people aren't out and about over the last year, but... They do integrated point of sale e-commerce solutions for small and medium sized businesses and e-commerce merchants to accept payments across channels in the US, Canada, and Europe. Again, DraftKings, MindBody, MP Power. These are big, big companies. And after the merger, the company will have a net cash position of $1.7 billion after subtracting out debt. Guys, I really, really do think this is a fantastic opportunity. I know that maybe you've 
maybe you're out of cash and you bought the dip and you kept buying the dip and the dip kept dipping and you don't have any more money for a dip, but if you do, I really, really think that PaySafe is an opportunity that if you don't, if you like fintech at all, if you don't jump on this bandwagon right now, well, we're at $15 per share, you're, you're probably going to kick yourself in a year or two when PaySafe is a juggernaut in this space. I think they're doing all the right things right now to ensure that they're going to be around for the next 5, 10, 20, 30 years and really, really start to eat away at the, mar uh, the market share of companies like Square and like PayPal and others. I really, really do. So please get this company on your radar if you, if, you, if you don't have it on there already. They have partnerships, again, with Roblox, with Fortnite, with Microsoft, with, with, uh, with the one we just talked about, Coinbase. Coinbase is going to have a massive IPO very, very soon. This is a very, very exciting company. Now, I hope you stay till the end. If you did, you're going to get a nugget of information. This brand new SPAC, it hasn't split yet. It's not going to split until the end of next month. However, SRNGU, I want you to get this on your radar. Here's why. This is the company. This is the same people, the same management, that team, team I keep talking about DraftKings, that just brought DraftKings and Skills public. Both of these companies, now again, it's red, it's bloody red out there all over, okay? DraftKings is doing really, really well right now, so is Skills. They've brought some other companies public as well. But this company, if you were to get into, now you can't buy this on Robinhood or Webull or something like that, but you can get in, like, let's say you have Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, something like that. SRNGU, please look into this company. What you would end up be buying right now, what, what the U is, is a unit. It's a common share and also a fifth of a warrant. What the warrants are, they're exercisable down the road but chances are srngu is going to do some something fantastic the rumor is epic games we'll, we'll get more into that in, in a video but srngu i want you to get on your watch list okay guys thank you so much for joining me for another video i appreciate every single one of you we're almost at fifty thousand subscribers i would love it if you if you aren't subscribed already for you to hit that subscribe button and if you want to play some fortnite with me join the private discord it's pretty fun thank you guys so much as always if you didn't already do it help me get to 50,000 subscribers by hitting that red subscribe button down below and i'll see you in the next video thanks